Alright, so I'm gonna show you how to set up a MCP instance with IntelliJ IDEA. So I have this uh, little MCP folder that I created for this purpose, just a uh, blank source, nothing in it uh, as of yet. Uh, so first you need to open IntelliJ and then import project. Go ahead and find the one that you want, your MCP. Open up Eclipse and click Client. Import from external module or model you want to do Eclipse. Next. And just go ahead and keep this. Next. Same thing. Next. And then finish. So it might come up with this. That's fine. We can fix that. Um, and that's that's not going to come up. That's, that's my problem. Uh, so what we need to do here is uh, we can change the, the project language level uh, from 6 if you want it to run on it on uh, Java 8 if you want Java 8 specific features you have to change this here to 8 um, like that so what we need to do is go into modules and then go ahead and change this to project SDK R1.8 doesn't really matter uh, sources if you have if you've already configured a uh, an MCP root here, this is what you needed. You need to do this. You need to go ahead and there's already a source root here, and you need to get rid of that. And then you need to go ahead and add it again, which is going to be under demo MC, MCP source, and then just go ahead and click Minecraft. And that's it, and your source has been fixed, and it's not the other one. You can click apply. Um, dependencies is where you can add any libraries that you might need for your project, like, uh, I don't know, JDOM or something else you might want to use, uh, any external libraries. Um, and you can also manually fix any of these if they're broken by going to the pencil and removing it, and you have to add it again. So, or you can just do that. I don't know. So that's done. So now you're going to be saying, wow, the run stuff's great out. How do I do that? All right, so you go to Edit Configurations, create a new application configuration. You can leave it unnamed if you want. Uh, main class is Start, which is just going to be default package. Um, working directory, we want to change that to get rid of Eclipse and Client to just jars. All right, and. VM options, the Java dot library. I cannot type today. Dot path equals, and then you want to type in versions 1.8, and then 1.8 natives. Uh, this is going to be different for every version of MCP and every version of Minecraft that you have. So I recommend going in here and checking it out in the jars folder versions, and then you'll find the natives folder in here. And this is all the things you want in there. Uh, but make sure this is this is here, this is here. And go ahead and click apply. And it should go there. And we're going to go ahead and wait for it to make. And uh, should be should be good here. Okay, here we go. And we should see here after it. It might take a while here and we can see that it does indeed launch minecraft and everything should work sound everything you need um, so now you can just switch this over to packages and you can do whatever you want with a source and that's it that's uh that's all you need to do